I mean, look, one the only criticism, if I had a criticism, I, I, I don't see anything out of that performance that makes me think the Islam fight would go different. I don't know if that's just me. Right. I just think that matchup, he could beat every. And now I'm convinced everybody he's going to beat, he just might be stuck in that category where he can't get, he can't beat the champ because I think that matchup is just a bad matchup for him. Yeah, see, I think he can beat Islam. I think that betting line for that potential rematch in October is completely out of whack. I'm seeing Charles at like plus 360. I guess we'll see, you know, but um, I just feel like everything that he has done since that loss in terms of the camp yeah. and the statement at 154 yeah. pounds and even the conviction cool. and confidence that comes with this result, I guess we'll see, you know, but uh, yeah. I, I, I uh, think he deserves yeah. it, John. I, there's no question. Yeah, yeah, I, just, it. I yeah. agree with Ray, though, on because yeah. Islam doesn't throw himself out of position. Islam doesn't take major risks. There's no like yeah, holes 100%. in his game where you're like, 100%. oh, Charles could expose this or that. That, that he just the, the dude doesn't make mistakes. That's that's the problem yeah. with Islam yeah. Mahashev. So that's what makes it tough in a rematch. So I agree with Ray there. But um, yeah. as far as you know, someone who's gonna mo- who's gonna move forward and try to finish. The fight, like that's how you beat Islam Mahashev. You don't go out there and try to decision him or outpoint him. You need someone with a skill set like a Charles Oliveira, who's at least going to try to go for the finish. That's his best bet of kind of creating that chaos. And I don't think there's anyone else uh, that can do it like Oliveira in that regard. So that's kind of why I want to see it. But uh, you know, so I, I, but I do agree with Ray at the same time. 